Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Drink Maple. Next up is Drink Melon. So obviously these two look very, very similar. The bottles are almost identical. Like the shape of the bottles is the same, but there's a couple slight differences in the text. Um, so this one is like maple syrup water. This one is watermelon water. I need to put water in quotes because it's kind of debatable whether it's really water or not because it's like got extra stuff in it. It's not just pure H2O. Um, so I bought these from CVS Pharmacy in San Francisco on my trip a couple of weeks ago. And this was the first time I've seen these in a store. So I bought them and I kind of carried them around all day. I took them home on the flight with me and... Um, because I, I thought they were like special, I thought they were just in San Francisco, but then I got back here, and a couple days after I got back, I found out that there's they sell Magiani Gold too, so I guess these are more well known than I originally thought. Um, so these are kind of expensive. I think they were about two dollars and fifty fifty cents, but maybe that's just because I bought them in San Francisco, and stuff is generally more expensive there. Um, but that's kind of. You know, it's pretty expensive for a bottle of water, 250 especially for this small. Uh, so, these are, or, these are both organic. They say they're just, you know, straight from the farm. The maple one says pure, simple hydration. And the melon one says it's just one ingredient. It's kind of interesting. They have, like, different slogans. Um, they actually have different, you know, nutritional stuff also. The maple one has eight carbs the melon one has 20 carbs maple has seven grams of sugar melon has 18 grams of sugar maple has 30 calories melon has 80 calories so just based on that i think that the uh, the maple one is better just based on the nutritional information um so, i'm sorry if i mix up the names they're you know just a couple letters difference. The melon one has more potassium. The maple one has more magnesium. So let's just open them up and do a taste test comparison. I'll tell you which one I think is the best. I think this is what you do. You think you just do that. Twist it off. Oh, there's another thing in there too. A lid inside of a lid inside of a lid. Lots of steps for a bottle of water. Okay. This is what I suspected. I suspected since it's got all that extra stuff, it's not going to be clear. And I think that's why they didn't put it in a clear bottle. Uh, so I'm just going to pour this in a glass and show you the color. Uh, it's actually not that bad. Um... Doesn't look that bad on the glass. Looks kind of darker in the bottle. Just... Yeah, it's not that bad at all. Let's open up the uh, maple one. I mean the melon one, sorry. Um, I think watermelons are... I think a high percentage of them is water. So it kind of makes sense to make watermelon water. Yeah, it looks dark in there, so let me pour it in here and see if it... Yeah, this one is, like, a lot more foggy. It kind of makes sense. This one has more calories, so of course it's more, like, foggy. And this one has less calories, so it's more watery. Uh, this one has... The watermelon one with the more calories also has a stronger smell to it. Kind of like a barky smell. Sort of like that uh, a coconut water I had in the hotel. i try it from the bottle. That does not taste like um, watermelon. It tastes like... Hey, a lot like uh, coconut, actually. Let me try the maple.
Yeah, this one actually tastes like, uh, like maple. So. Like the, uh, the watermelon one does not taste bad, but it also does not taste like watermelon. I think these, like, might be better if they were refrigerated. Um, this is, I should actually point this out. <laughs> when I bought these from the CVS store, there was a sign on their refrigerator that said the refrigerator is broken, it's out of service. These are normally sold cold, but when I bought them, they were, they were not actually room temperature. You might, you might think, oh, the fridge is off. These must have been room temperature, but no, they were actually really warm <laughs> when I bought them because the, the refrigerator was broken, but there's like bright lights inside of the refrigerator in their store and they kept the doors to the refrigerator closed. So those lights a acted sort of like heaters and actually kind of heated up these bottles a little bit. Like, you, you know, when you open the refrigerator door at this store, I bought these from, it was significantly warmer than the rest of the store. So I wonder if that affected the taste at all from the, those lights, like, heating up the water. I hope that makes sense. And, I mean, I kind of have mixed feelings. Um, it does not taste bad, but I would definitely, if I, if I was not doing a review of this, I would never pay... 250 for one of these bottles. I just don't think it's worth it. You know, they, they say it's organic, it's GMO free, it's gluten free, BPA bottles, all, all the like stuff you would see at Whole Foods and stuff like that. And that's all good, but um, yeah, I just don't think it's worth the cost, I guess. Yeah, kind of like a... It tastes like a campfire, kind of. Like a barky... Like, maybe, maybe it tastes more like a watermelon seed... Or, you know, maybe the, um, maybe it tastes more like the in, like the, the thicker part of a watermelon than, you know, than the first bite. You know, the first bite of a watermelon, you get like a really, like more of a sweet taste. And this is more like a barky, like a, I don't know, stronger taste to it. All right. <clears throat> um, I think this really just comes down to my own personal preference, but I'm going to say that the winner is the, the watermelon. Like, on paper, this one is worse. It's got worse nutritional information, you know, more calories, more carbs, more sugar in this, and, um, you know, it's darker, so it's less like water. So it's kind of weird that I'm picking this, uh, but, um, it just tastes better out of the two. So, that's that. And because I drink, excuse me, a bottle or a cup of water in every video for John Drinks Water, I'm going to do some regular water. So nobody leaves a comment saying... Oh, that's not really water. This is not a real episode or something like that. So here's some real water. I mean, these do really say water on the you know, on the front label. This is watermelon. Actually, this is water twice. This is watermelon water. <laughs> um... Here's a little update. If you watched John Drinks Water 5,794, I talked about my trip to San Francisco 
And I talked about how I was um, like obsessed with Google Maps and uploading photos to that. And I talked about how my account was suspended and you know all my photos were removed from Google Maps. So here's just like a little update to that. <laughs> I've spent the past week I made a new account for Google Maps. I spent I spent the past week re-uploading every single one of those photos just manually <laughs> one by one. Um it's about I think it's about 12,000 unique photos. Like no duplicates, just just all unique individual photos. And um I think there were originally about 14,000 and I've been doing this for the past week. I just finished about like half an hour ago, like just right before I started this video. Um, and there's only 12,000 up there because there were a couple, I guess about 2000 places. I just couldn't find the location for, I couldn't remember where, um, where I shot the pictures of the businesses because it's like, it's 12,000 pictures from the past year and a half of my life. Just at all kinds of random locations in Pittsburgh, in Philadelphia, in Washington, D.C., in New York, in all kinds of different cities around the world. And um, so I have to remember back, like sometimes it's just a, you know, a picture of a random building. So I have to look at the picture and use the context clues to um, find out where it was and then find it on the map and then upload the picture and then do that 12,000 times. <laughs> So it was sort of like torture the past week doing that, re-uploading all those pictures. But I just felt like I put in all that time to do that. Why let it go to waste? Um, so that's what I did. And it's, you know, a lot of work and I had to do it two times. So there you go. That's a little update. So thanks for watching. Um, God, God, congratulations, watermelon water. It's like four in the morning. <laughs> I should be sleeping right now. Oh boy. Um, yeah, yeah, leave a comment. What do you guys think? What do you guys prefer? Maple syrup or watermelons? What do you guys prefer to eat? Or what do you prefer the taste of? All right. Bye, everybody.